is my audience. Okay. Okay. As a United States citizen, you should continue to want to have the right to bear arms and want to be able to choose from a variety of weapons, such as guns, for many helpful reasons. I live in the small town of Nom Noster, which neighbors Whiteman Air Force Base. Our community is influenced by military views, and the topic of gun control is a huge controversial issue here. As a U.S. citizen, we should want to be allowed to continue to have guns because the laws that want to be passed by Obama are not going to totally apply to all of the criminals that are out there. Obama has already encouraged Congress to do a majority of things to help keep the dangerous gun owners away, but will they work? According to USNews.com, Obama says that he already has the support of the majority of the American people. His plans are to ban assault weapons, which in many of his speeches he mistakenly calls many guns assault weapons. So, um, he wants to ban assault weapons, high capacity ammunition, and armor piercing bullets. Um, a few ideas that sound necessary that Obama actually have would be to increase background proto protocol checks, check protocols, provide more funding for um, schools and police officers and first responder training, and all of these could possibly help our economy and keep out um, the bad guys. Now, the background checks could catch some criminals, and um, but most criminals will hardly be affected because background checks um, will probably only affect the criminals that um, we don't know about and that would just pop up in a background check. Most criminals are smart enough to go through people they know um, or to buy a gun from a friend instead of purchasing them and having a background check done on themselves. Criminals are sneaky and will always try to find a way around everything. I think that background checks could be very helpful, but they will never stop all of the real criminals. Registered gun owners would be affected um, by this ban because they are the ones that register to have a gun for whatever reason it is. Um, and all of the other people that aren't registered will hardly be affected because if you're not registered, then you won't have to have a background check done on you. So a criminal usually won't register themselves. And if they do, then they do. Now, citizens own guns for recreational activities and for protection when needed. The people being affected by this proposal would only be the registered gun owners anyway. This does not make this proposal fair in any way because the bad guys will still be out there. Obama needs to do things for safety measures and has no reason to take away our rights as citizens to own a gun. Guns are only dangerous if they are put into the hands of an uneducated user, user like a child or a criminal. If children get a hold of guns, then the gun should have been locked up in the first place. And, um, like for example, right, rifles that people own are usually locked up in a safe in their house. So, rifles shouldn't be considered assault weapons. And, um... One of the proposals Obama is trying to push is to have better school security. So, according to USA.com, Jay Nixon stated, Putting loaded weapons in classrooms is quite simply the wrong approach to a serious issue that demands careful analysis and thoughtful solutions. This is a very true statement because school is where students are supposed to feel safe and um, like they are allowed to express themselves when they're away from home. According to glennbeck.com, there's a survey and it shows how America really feels about gun control. About 95.7% of the people that took the survey answered no to this following question. Do you think that a federal ban on magazines and sale of ammunition that hold more than 10 rounds would reduce violent crime? And then they of course answered 95. 0.7% no. 
Another question was, do you support the idea of a national database tracking all of the legal gun sales? 23% answered yes, 70% answered no, and 7% answered unsure. People, in fact, do not agree with Obama on his proposals. According to another source, Gallup.com, we are told that women would be more likely to own a gun for the use of protection, and men would own a gun for protection against crime, but also target shooting and hunting. These are three great examples to why we, as citizens, should be allowed to own guns without getting them banned. Um, now, for small town people like me and for all the other small towns around Knob Monster, these would not benefit any of the gun owners that would register themselves to own a gun because. If you live in a small town, most of the people only own a gun for recreational activities. Now, people that live in big cities, they could possibly own a gun for recreational activities, but most of them would own a gun for protection and for protection from robbers and criminals. So, in regards to Obama wanting to take away citizens' right to own guns, the government needs to go against Obama's gun control plan. His main proposals, which he calls common sense measures, according to usnews.com, that could help keep away dangerous gun owners, but he's mistaken if the majority of the American people actually agree with this biased proposal of his. According to freedomoutpost.com, Obama also wants to protect our Second Amendment rights. Now, that's pretty funny to me because um, if he was trying to protect our rights, then he would take into thought all of the safety precautions instead of taking away our rights. I hope you learned more about the president's views to this topic and also why we should still continue to have guns. And um, I hope you enjoyed it and if this proposal is passed then our rights will be stolen away from us and they will be stolen right from our very hands. Thanks for watching.